So why listen? Why is it so important to listen? Let me tell you a story. Some years ago, I was in the country of Venezuela, serving as a third party between the government and the political opposition at a time of intense conflict, with a lot of people fearing a civil war. My colleague Francisco Diaz and I had an appointment with the president, Hugo Chavez, at 9 p.m. at the presidential palace. Finally, at midnight, we were ushered in to see the president, who had his entire cabinet arrayed behind him. And he asked me, so, Yuri, what do you think of the situation going on here? And I said, Mr. President, I've been talking to your ministers here and to the opposition, and I think you're making some progress. Progress? What do you mean, progress? He shouted. You're blind. You're not seeing all the dirty tricks those traitors are up to. And he leaned in very close to my face and proceeded to shout. What was I going to do? Part of me felt like defending myself naturally. But what good would it do for me to get into an argument with the president of Venezuela? <laughs> How would that advance peace? So I just listened. I gave him my full attention. I listened to where he was coming from. And President Chavez was known, he was famous for making eight-hour speeches. But after 30 minutes of me just nodding and listening, I saw his shoulder slowly sag and he said to me in a very weary tone of voice, so Yuri, what should I do? That's the sound of a human mind opening, opening to listen. So I said, Mr. President, it's almost Christmas. The country needs a break. Last year, all the festivities were canceled because of the conflict. Why not propose a truce this time so that people can enjoy the holidays with their families and after that, everybody will maybe be in a better mood to listen. He said, that's a great idea. I'm going to announce that in my next speech. His mood had completely shifted. How? Through the simple power of listening. Because I listened to him, he was more ready to listen to me. So there are at least three important reasons why it's important to listen in any negotiation or conflict. The first is that it helps us understand the other side. Negotiation, after all, is an exercise in influence. You're trying to change someone else's mind. How can you possibly change someone else's mind if you don't know where their mind is? Listening is key. The second reason, just as important, is it helps us connect with the other human being. It helps us build rapport. It builds trust. It shows we care. After all, everybody wants to be heard. And the third is, as with President Chavez, it makes it more likely that the other person is going to listen to us. It helps us get to yes. In short, listening may be the cheapest concession we can make in a negotiation. It costs us nothing, and it brings huge benefits. Listening may be the golden key that opens the door to human relationship. 